everyone. Welcome to Drawing Up Histories with me, author and illustrator Andrew Tafoli. Today, we're going to learn how to draw Michelangelo Bunnirati based on Michelangelo Bonnirati. And as always, we're going to need three things, a pencil, a Sharpie, and to begin, a bowl, a cup, a compass to make a nice circle to begin our drawing. Okay, if you have those three things and you're ready to go, let's draw Michelangelo Bunny Rod. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our bowl. And for this one, since Michelangelo has some ears, we're gonna need a little space. So kind of go down to the middle, but a little lower, almost to the edge, and draw with your pencil a nice circle around to reveal it like so. Okay, to begin, I like to use a pencil. For all the lines after it, I'm gonna be using a Sharpie so everybody can see on the white paper or on the video what lines I make it. If you'd like to use a pencil, that's perfectly fine. So now, with your pencil, I'm gonna do our plus sign, and that plus sign acts like a map. This tells me your eyes are gonna go here, your nose, your mouth. I always start with my eyes. I'm gonna to switch to my Sharpie and draw not circles, but rather two ovals on the line here, one here and one here. Looking straight at you. Now, go ahead and fill those in. And there we have our two ovals. Oh, I like to say black beans on our line right here. Now, to give that distinct look of the history's characters, they have a special kind of eyes. And the first thing I want you to do is draw a little shape or a little line, a little curve under one eye here and on the other side as well. Easy shape to do. Now, that shape that always goes around the eyes to make them the history's character is an arch. Take your marker, put it right here on the edge. And I want you to do one arch here and on the other side as well. If you need to stop the video to do this, go right ahead, pause it. And when you're ready with the two arches, you're ready to go to the next step. All right. Again, like all characters in my series, they all start out kind of the same. We're going to do a little line underneath the eyes. And it's a little line like so. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, for Michelangelo's nose, it's basically another oval, but on its side. And I want you to draw one. If you want to do it in one step, it's easy. Start here and make an oval just like that. Oval here, oval there. Remember, all these drawings are just putting a bunch of shapes together. All right, so now we can draw, start drawing Michelangelo's mouth. So right around here, put your pencil or marker right here, and you're gonna make a U shape like so. So you see that U there. And I want you to do the same on the other side as well. You could start over here, you could start over there. Let's start here so they join together and we can see it go around like that. Looking good. Let's go right ahead and do his little tooth here. You know, it's what these rabbit illustrations always have. And all it is is another almost like kind of a little stretched out U shape like so. Okay. So just like the shape you made here, we're gonna make his mouth here. Right around here, put your marker or pencil down there and go from here to there. All right, very good. Okay, to kind of give him a little smile, you're gonna make a line from here to there. And you could start, let's start 
Let's start over here. Marker right around here and join it like so. And what do you think is next? That's right. Go to the other side, join it here, and go over just like that. You can already see him smiling there. Round out the bottom of his mouth. Another shape just like you did here, but a little more stretched out. Marker about here. Just like that. They almost look the same. Some are a little more stretched out than the others. Remember, if you ever need to pause the video, go right ahead. Sometimes it can get a little quick. I want to make sure I'm going nice and slow for everyone so we have the beauty of pausing the video. All right. So as you can see with the circle here, it's already shaping the face there. All we're going to do is add a couple details here and there, a couple lines, but that circle is shaping the face. All right. His eyes need a little more character. So as you learn from the other videos, he needs, that's right, eyebrows. And the eyebrows are just a series of simple lines and shapes. Right around here, I want you to make kind of an arch just like that. And go to the bottom here and join them just like you see there. Same process, other side, right around here, arch, and then going back the way right here. Okay, good. All right, so we're, we're going to leave his ears to last. So next thing I want you to do, and you'll see this in a lot of my characters, they always have a little bit of hair here in the middle, kind of give them a little more character. It's a series of shapes like so, little spikes there. Usually they look kind of the same, all of them. One here, one there. Go ahead and make it your own. Have fun with it. And when you're done with that, we'll go to the next step. Okay, so he needs now to kind of shape his sides of his head. So. What I want you to do, right around here, put a little dot right there. That dot is right there. Put your pen on it or pencil, and I want you to draw a line right to where the lines intersect. See right there? One, two. All right. Pen or pencil right over here little curve and stop. Go back up. Curve. Go back up. Curve. Go back up on the line of the circle. And let's do one more. Back up. Okay, great. Now, to join these two together, I want to line back to his chin right there. All right, let's go ahead and do it on the opposite side as well. Put a little dot right around here. See it there? Place it on there, and I want you to join it to where they intersect right there. If you just break down any type of drawing into little steps, you will be successful. Right on here, down, stop. They don't have to be exact. And back up. Down and back up. Down, back up. And one more down and back up. And what do you think the last step here is? That's right, join them together, here, there. Looking great. All right, so now, what we could do is, 
give him some whiskers. So put three little dots here and three little dots here. And then as big or small as you want, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, finally, now we can do the ears. And I want you to watch closely. We're gonna go back to our dot here. Marker on there. I wanna keep it in the frame. I want you to do a line going up. Just like that. And stopping right there. Marker right on top there. Take it the same shape going all the way back down to where it kind of collides with his hair. Back up here where they join. A curved line inside there. What are we gonna do next? That's right. Same on the other side, don't rush it. Marker on top here. All the way up, like so. They could be a little off, a little different. Actually, I want them to be a little different. A little different sizes, gives them more character. Marker on here, go all the way back. Join here and all the way back there. Nice looking Michelangelo bunny Roddy right there. Not to have a head just floating up there. Let's give him a little collar where this fur attaches there. Put your pen or pencil there. And I want you to go to the Center line here and the other side as well. Yep, we forgot to do something. I forgot to darken in our mouth. Go ahead and do that now. Because the next step will be to erase our pencil lines. Grab your eraser and let's erase those prints. And there we have it. Michelangelo Bunny Roddy. If yours came out, you want to try it again, start a new piece of paper. I think you did wonderful. Thank you and hope to. See you here next time for our next drawing.